Hello there, and welcome to another The Hunter Classic gameplay video. My name is Wimp, and in this video I'm going to be doing another snake bite grind clip show to music video gobble gobble. There's always something interrupts my intro at this spot. <laughs> so, yes, it's going to be another music video, you know, different bits of music and clip shows for all of the kills. Uh, I'm going to be using basically just the snake bite now i do have the anschutz uh was it 1780 the eight times 57 1780 uh 1780 yeah uh, and i'm bringing that because if we have a look at the permitted ammo it'll do everything from coyotes up to banteng and Bison. Uh, yes, there it is. It's on, slightly on the small side for them, but it will do basically an enti the entire range of animals. Um, so just in case I see something rare off in the distance, at least I've got something that I can, you know, shoot a long way with. Uh, snake bite, as you can see, it's at level 19, and I'm trying to get it up to level 20. That probably won't happen in this video. I'm expecting to get about halfway. But the plan... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Let's shut that noise up. So, the plan is I'm going to do almost every reserve. And I'm going to spend an hour on each at a kind of good location. So I've started on White Heart Island. I've spawned here, but I'm going to fast travel to this tent, which is at the Golden Tree Stand. I'm going to spend an hour there grinding the snake bite. Uh, Logger's Point, like last time, I'm probably going to go to the middle tower. Um, probably, unlike last time, I might actually move around a little bit. Uh, Settler Creeks, of course, is the golden tree stand up here for elk and some whitetail. Red Feather Falls, I'm going to go to this golden tree stand here. Hirschfelden, I'm going to go to this tree stand like I did in the previous snake bite grind video. Unlike the last one, I might actually move around. I might even go to these fields, but we'll see how that goes. Hemeldal, like last time, I oh wrong wrong tree stand. So I'm gonna do the reindeer triangle again. Now last time I went to the tripod stand and I could barely move from that spot, but I suspect this time it's gonna be different. On top of that, I think I'm actually gonna go to this tree stand first, whereas last time I went down there first, because as I said in that video, this tree stand actually tends to be better. It has a bigger variety i have found of animals rougarou i'm going to skip not really much there i can do with a bow val de bois so i think what i might do with val de bois i so last time i skipped it but i think i might actually spawn at that tent go to that tower go to the tree stand and then maybe down to that tower and see what we can get in that area. <gasps> Bush Rangers run. <laughs> so this didn't work out too well for me last time. Because I tried to do red foxes only. But I think this time what I'm going to do is spawn there. Have a quick look around. Fast travel to the lodge. And then do these bits of equipment. That tower, that tower. And maybe even go up to there. White Heart, no. White Rhyme, yes. <laughs> I, uh, Ridge, no, yes. Uh, same as last time, spawn at that tent, do that tower. Yeah, that, that was good last time. Lots of foxes, lots of rabbits, quite a few doll sheep. Uh, Timber Gold Trails is going to be a little bit different because this is a walkie thing. So I'm going to do True Hunter's Route-ish. Spawn at that tent, do that tower, do that tree stand, do that tree stand. I might even make my way over here, but probably not. And then Pickabeam Bay, of course, is 
the sandbar tree stand just there. Now, unlike the last time, it's possible that I might even start the sequence again and go back to White Hart Island. It depends on how far I've got through, you know, leveling up the snake bite and how long it's taken me to do it. So, like I said, it's going to be an hour on each reserve. As you probably know, I now release my videos every fortnight. And uh, I am recording the week before I release on a Tuesday. I'm going to be recording tomorrow as well. If the mood takes me, I might record some on Thursday. But then next week, the week I release, will also be a Tuesday and a Wednesday, probably recordings day as well. So, you know, it it might be quite a while. The other thing I'm going to do different this time compared to last time is I'm not going to bother talking in between reserves. So last time I said it's the end of the hour, I'm going to the next one now. And it was like, I, yeah, it felt a bit weird, to be honest. So I'm going to pop my clothes back on. I'll bring you along for the fast travel. Eh, and eh. And we'll see what kind of mess we get into. So hopefully this time I won't forget to record the first doe. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Oh, I really should have my hunter mate out. Never mind. Shit. Well, this isn't good, is it? Hopefully I can get to that tree stand before any of them notice me, but they were rather close to that tent. Come on, please. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, let's start with this guy then. And let the clip show commence. So I know I said I wouldn't be talking, but what the fuck is that? I know we joke about roe deer uh, models, but... That's ridiculous.
Okay. Okay.
Have a great time. Okie dokie there. So, as you saw, I went through all of the reserves to Pikapin Bay and then went back to the first one, Whitecart Island. That was where I was just now. Uh, click, click. In the way, of course you are. So, the reason I brought back the commentary is this. That hunt on Whitecart Island has taken my snake bite bow to 98% of level 19. So, I mean, I don't know how many kills is 1%, but the 2% left could be 1 kill, 2, 3, 4, I don't know. But, I've brought the commentary back because I'm obviously going to be leveling up the bow on this hunt, so I might as well celebrate it with some speaking. <laughs> Yes, some commentary. I'm going to at least acknowledge that it's happened rather than do it in silence. Oh, a, a couple of things. The You may even... You, you probably noticed how big it was. Giggity. Uh, but you may not have known that it was my new PB. But here on, uh, here on Logger's Point, the last time I was here in this video... Uh, was a white tail that scored 197.9 that became my new PB I think up until then it was like 186 or something so a significant amount uh, 
and the blonde grizzly bear on timber gold trail assuming of course i've left in that i shot it with a rifle i probably will now because i've mentioned it assuming of course that i didn't stop recording but that became my new pb as well and it was a blonde not a rare just a variation but still right then so i'll see you over at the tower Level 20! Hooray! Finally! And my first ever level 20 weapon! Hooray for me! Now, <laughs> I've got to... I, I know what's going to happen. Now that it's up to level 20, I'm going to be tempted to use other weapons. <laughs> other, especially other bows. I, I must try to remember that the reason I've leveled this up is so that it makes this easier to use so I really ought to use it maybe not as often but you know certainly try not to let it collect dust aye uh, right so let let me know guys if you've got any weapons that are level 20 how many I would imagine that most of them are going to be bows because bows are easier to level up for obvious reasons you can you know kill half a dozen a dozen animals without spooking the rest whereas with rifles and most of the pistols and stuff you shoot it's loud everything gets scared away so it's harder le to level up so if anyone has leveled anything up that isn't a bow to level 20 I would like to know about that as well uh, of course for those who haven't yet leveled anything up to level 20 uh, are you planning to and if you are which weapons are you planning or would you like to do can i get that blood and not the cat no i can't uh 6.9 no gems is nice though oh and a hundred bobcat very nice right so there we go thank you very much for watching i hope you got some enjoyment out of it and hopefully i will see you in another video so thank you again, and goodbye.